in the recent times agile and scrum practices has taken over the market completely this essentially means that there are more and more opportunities coming up for people to get into it with the recent 14th annual agile report it state that it has actually helped the organization in managing their changing priorities and also aligning business and it but for people like you and me the opportunity lies in the last section of the slide which says 84% of organization still have the small implementation so they have not reached to high level of agile maturity that means they really want to make their entire organization agile not just one team or one organization or one department and also get it right one of the most famous framework available in the market is scaled agile framework to implement agile practices at a large scale so today i am going to talk in brief how you can understand the basics of scaled agile framework with basic understanding of scrum and why i have picked scrum for this understanding is if you know the concept of process you can build strong structures like eiffel tower that is standing strong for the last 100 years to understand the concept i give you a simple acronym ear you have to put your ear closely to get this understanding ear stands for events artifacts and rules events sprint is considered to be heartbeat of scrum the recommended duration is 3 to 6 weeks when it is extended to multiple teams or large number of teams it is called program increment in scaled agile framework and the recommended duration for a program increment is 8 to 12 weeks it is called a heartbeat because it should not stop which means a sprint should start at the end of the previous one similarly a program increment should start at the end of the previous one so as soon as the previous program increment ends the planning for the next one should start there should not be long gaps between sprints or program increments the next event is sprint planning where the product owner the scrum team the scrum master come together discuss the product backlog the priority item and create the sprint backlog and sprint goals for the team when it is extended it is called a program increment planning where multiple teams or multiple scrum teams come together discuss on the risk the collaborations the dependencies and at the end of the program increment planning come up with consolidated program increment objective to align a scrum team has daily scrum the recommended duration is up to 15 minutes where the team discuss what they have done yesterday what need to be done today and if there are any impediments that they see when there are multiple teams it's important to have this collaboration and alignment across multiple teams that's the reason scaled agile framework has scrum of scrum where teams can align 
and a PO syncup or a product owner syncup that helps various product owner to align on the next product backlog or program backlog items it is recommended to have at least once or twice a week SOS and PO syncup it need not have to have daily like daily scrum at the end of the sprint the team does review session where they showcase the workable software to all the stakeholders when it is extended multiple teams consolidate their output as an integrated output and that is called system demo or program review where all the stakeholder join the session and dem- and see the workable software and provide their valuable inputs to the team what worked well and what could be improved is taken at the end in a retrospective session safe also recommend that teams should have retro of retro where the retrospective session need to be conducted collaboratively now it's important to understand that when a program implement safe it does not get away with the basic events what scrum suggest but these are the additional events which are added to ensure that the large program work effectively and efficiently so which means there is an internal retrospective session by the team as well as there is a retro of retro with other teams which means there is always a daily scrum for the team but there will be also a po sync up or scrum of scrum happening as well many of you might be wondering does that mean that now team has to spend more time on meetings yes that's correct but then when we are talking about large transformation this is essential the next item is the artifacts the various artifacts within scrum are product backlog where the various requirements of product items are arranged in priority by the product owner sprint backlog these are the list of item from the product backlog that the scrum team has decided to pick and complete in a specific sprint when we extend this to multiple teams this is called or the backlog is called a program backlog the next artifact is increment or a product increment this is a workable software that the team produces at the end of every sprint and as i said when various team consolidate they does a system demo on the same lines the teams in scaled agile framework has an artifact called system increment which means the entire system is incremented with the next release or with the next increment the final part to understand this analogy between scrum and safe are roles when a scrum team is extended using scaled agile framework it is called agile release train and agile release train is scrum teams put together or teams of team the recommended size 
of a scrum team is 10 or fewer members and for an agile release train is 80 to 100 people. These numbers are recommended based on the various analysis being done in order to ensure that the efficiency and the effectiveness of teams remain optimum. So for example, the 80 to 120 comes from Dunk's bar number that states that it's difficult to know more than 100 to 120 people by an individual virtually. So if somebody is a part of an agile release train and the release train is comprising of 200 people, his, his or her ability to communicate and know multiple people reduces drastically. The roles that are defined by Scrum are product owner that ensures that the requirements are in place, prioritized and also help teams to understand these requirements. It, he or she also act as a bridge between stakeholders, business counterpart and the development team. When we extend this to multiple teams, a product management might be required. There might be cases where Epix owners are needed and business owners or chief product owner can also be a possibility. These are recommended and these roles can be included within a safe program based on the requirements. The next role is of Scrum Master. Scrum Masters ensure that the Scrum team is able to achieve its sprint objective, make sure that the team understand the concepts of Scrum and Agile and also ensures that the team does not have any hindrance or dependency or impediments and if there are he or she try to solve them or help the team with that when there are multiple scrum teams available safe recommend the role of chief scrum master it is also called release train engineer the other role that is specified in scrum guide is of development team this comprises of the core member within a scrum team now as there are multiple scrum teams scaled agile framework also recommend a role of system architect that ensures that the architecture of the entire program can be aligned, synchronized and collaborated. As I said previously, scaled agile framework inclusion does not mean the, the roles of scrum team goes away. It means these are the additional roles that get added when an organization want to implement scaled agile framework. Now let's try to see an image from Scaled Agile Framework website and understand how these various components fit together and how easy it is now to correlate these things. Starting from the left hand side, we have the various roles, Scrum Master, Product Owner, Agile teams to manage multiple scrum master we have a role called release train engineer or chief scrum master product management role to manage multiple product owner system architect role or system engineer role to manage or collaborate and create an synchronized architecture 
across multiple development teams. Moving on, here you can see safe does not suggest directly scrum should be the framework that should be used always. It can be XP, it can be Scrum, it can be Kanban. But the closeness of Scrum helped us to understand the various artifacts, roles, events. And that's the reason I have taken Scrum as the basics to explain you that. The artifacts defined here are team backlog, program backlog as we have seen, also here the priorities of the items are done using WSJF method. Moving on we have the PI planning session that act as a heartbeat for the entire agile release train. You can also see here system demos happening at the end of every iteration or sprint. This is a collaborative effort from various team demonstrating a workable software. At the end of every PI, the next PI planning happen and that's where you can see this grade box and immediately after that the next program increment start. The output of PI planning is of course PI objectives same as we said for sprint planning it is sprint backlog and sprint codes. This small acronym of year events artifact and role I hope will help you to get into the details of scaled agile framework. If you want to understand each of these items you can go to the website of scaled agile framework click on any specific items and you can get into the details in future videos i will also take each of these items and explain them in details i hope this helped you to get the initial understanding of scaled agile framework in the words of code seek first to understand then to be understood keep learning do like share and subscribe thank you very much